Zimbabwe and Indonesia sealed a partnership with 1,000 straws of semen harvested from the top five quality bulls from the Indonesian breeds being infused into the local genetics pool through the artificial insemination. The Indonesian government deployed a team to visit Zimbabwe and kickstart the artificial insemination process. Indonesian ambassador to Zimbabwe, Mr. Deoar Made Sastrawan, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Lands, Fisheries, Water, and development presided over the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement in Harare recently. The agreement between Indonesia and Zimbabwe is targeted not only to strengthen the livestock sector but will go a long way in attaining the nation's food security. Uh, we have also done training in uh, September, October this year. We have also provided technical assistance in the introduction of the Indonesian frozen cement which is underway through the technical visit by your team from Singosari National Artificial Insemination Center. So for that, we really appreciate. Your Excellency, the government of Zimbabwe is grateful and highly appreciates receiving a donation of 1,000 doses of frozen bull cement from the government of Indonesia. The Indonesian ambassador to Zimbabwe explained why Zimbabwe is amongst the countries to receive 1,000 straws of semen. The semen was distributed to all the 10 provinces in Zimbabwe for artificial insemination to kickstart. And I can share with you, I've been here for five years, so I've been trying to convince my government that in Zimbabwe is an agriculture country, so does Indonesia, so we would like to share our uh, our experience, our expertise, and a little bit fun that we have to share with you how to be your partner for development and agriculture here in Zimbabwe. That's why Zimbabwe is one of the five countries in Africa uh, to be prioritized to be given for this donation. Ah. Artificial insemination is the quickest method a country can adopt to improve the national herd because buying bulls can be expensive compared to the importation of the semen straws. After signing the partnership with the Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Development, the Indonesian delegation went straight to the provinces to kickstart the artificial insemination process. The statistics from the Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Development shows that the national livestock currently stands at 5.2 million cattle and the government is targeting to reach 11 million cattle by 2028. The artificial insemination process took place at Chinamo Farm in Matibeleland, South Province. We may get some uh, semen from what Dr. Gadaga is saying here. We may get some semen coming from as far as Indonesia from expansion. But I, 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 I strongly want to think that we, 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 we're working towards a situation where we will see a lot of improvement in Zimbabwe in terms of genetics. From what we sell a lot of bulls to a lot of commercial farmers who are crossbreeding with Cimental and other breeds. The Indonesian ambassador to Zimbabwe, His Excellency. Dewamade Sastrawan was part of the delegation which distributed the semen straws to the various farmers in Zimbabwe. Purpose is very specific relative to the cattle and how it is and how it is. Then we just would like to share our experience, our technology, and then how then we can help uh, Zimbabwe. How then we as the uh, partners of development of Zimbabwe to develop the agriculture and particularly the uh, cattle farming. So uh, I believe that the delegate been here for already one week and they just moved around 
uh, in Zimbabwe yeah, to do their uh, work. Uh, the technicality of this uh, uh, artificial insemination may be better on our technical team uh, who came here, uh, two of them, will give some explanation what our project is. But in general, that the project is about the capacity building. The Matopos Research Institute also took part in the artificial insemination process. They commented on the artificial insemination in relationship with current livestock diseases in Zimbabwe. It's a, it's, 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 it's a health disease that is affected the two regions, which are in, in South End. So that we, our livestock numbers have actually dropped due to, to, to that particular challenge. So, but pushing for this particular strategy will mean uh, the team of expertise that I have been selected from the different institutions or departments in the ministry. They have a strength in handling and managing the controlling the disease side and also pushing the strength on the, gene the genetics development. Matopos Research Institute is conducting the safekeeping of the semen in the laboratories. They explained how the laboratory will be used to preserve the semen from Indonesia. So from those books, we then collect our semen, we harvest semen from the other end, then we collect it into the laboratory through this window. After collecting, the first stage that we determine for uh, is the, what we call the macroscopic evaluation, where we check for the volume of the semen that we have been collected, as well as the color. So this is done using just the naked eye. We use this water bath to maintain the temperature uh, around 38 degrees because we are trying to imitate the temperature of the food. So after completing our macroscopic evaluation, we then proceed with the microscopic evaluation where we are using the CASA system, which is computer-assisted semen analysis. So uh, we also have uh, this heating uh, table here, this heating element, which also is up to 38 degrees Celsius, the same is the, for the microscope, it also is up to 38 degrees Celsius, because we also we want to maintain the, the temperature at 38 degrees Celsius. After conducting the artificial insemination process in provinces such as Matabelele North and South, the Indonesian delegation went straight to Midlands province to distribute straws of semen to that community. The main agenda of the artificial insemination process is boosting Zimbabwe's livestock herd. Kwekwe was not spared from the recently ended artificial insemination program, spearheaded by the Indonesian delegation. The Indonesian delegation continued to achieve their goal of increasing Zimbabwe's national herd. The Zimbabwean farmers appreciated the gesture from the Indonesian delegation. The Ministry of Lands, Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Rural Development continues to work hard in all parts of the agricultural sector to achieve food security and economic stability.